On Next Radio, this is The Big Talk. My name is Kanere Mugume. Tonight on the show, well, we do understand that uh, there were rumors about a meeting between President Jerome Seveni and uh, the Association of the Traders over the strike that they did hold at the start of this week. They closed shops and uh, they were protesting against the IFRI system by Uganda Revenue Authority, but also some taxes on uh, some of the products, including textile. What do the traders um, really hope the president can do? In the studio tonight, I'm hosting Abel Mwesje, who is uh, the CEO of uh, Kasita Uganda, Kampala City Traders Association, Uganda. Good to have you on the show. Uh, thanks, Kanali. Uh, good evening, uh, of, uh, followers and listeners. And uh, it's indeed a pleasure once again to be here with you, Kanali, this evening. All right. Let's uh, get deeper and understand. Um, the traders real did um, have um, a, a, a massive strike mm. where they closed all shops when they closed all shops and uh, they say they were protesting against a number of things number one the ifri system but also two tax on some of the products not all products but some of the products including uh, uh, the textile what is your response on how the state responded they were marching military men in uniform uh, downtown as much as your strike was peaceful, do you feel like that is the right response on um, how the state should have responded? Uh, uh, thanks, Kanali. I think uh, to begin with, uh, if you're referring to the incidents that happened on 8th, that was on Monday, uh, I will categorically say that, uh, yes, mo some traders, I'll say some, because uh, it, it wasn't really uh, a, a general strike. Uh, some traders closed their shops, and uh, as a casita, our position then was not in for the strike. Uh, and we had given our reasons uh, in the first case. I think it was one day to Edi, uh, Edi celebrations. So we had our, 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 our business people, our members who had uh, you know prepared for the Edi season. As uh, as we know, I mean the purchasing power being low. I mean the the, the, the was economy it it was it Easter? No, no, no. One day to eat celebrations. Yeah, B but uh, I mean today is eleventh. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes, all, all this is in plan, Canada. Yeah, yeah. yeah today is eleventh. So we we had advised our our, our our members that it wouldn't really be uh, prudent for us to be on streets when our Muslim counterparts had actually you know planned for the ed celebrations which is uh which is the the business season just the way you see easter and christmas for them uh but unfortunately there are some sections of uh, traders that could not contain that and so they had to go out there show their their dissatisfaction we which we tried to contain that's why uh, i think the demonstration did didn't take the full day along the way we managed to you know to contain it and have uh, these people try to understand we there are some landlords who had crossed uh, their buildings of course you would understand them because uh, uh once once beaten you know twice shy you're a landlord you leave your your building open as as others are trying to cross then uh, your tenants merchandise is uh, you know destroyed you're liable you know all that sort but it was later solved but then uh, for the cause, as, as you're mentioning, I think the cause is very clear. Uh, those, those demonstrations, from our own understanding, they are always uh, the last results because we clearly know it's not a demonstration that actually brings uh, on board results that you're looking for. No. But then uh, you realize that uh, by the time someone clearly knows that uh, if I go for this demonstration, you know, tear gas is coming on because it is the order of the day when it comes to demonstrations. Uh, I will lose out on sales, I will be crossed, I will be everything, but then it says, no, let, let me painfully, you know, show my dissatisfaction. So the causes are there. And uh, I think the aftermath, uh, after you not know, containing all that, we haven't, uh, we haven't called off the demonstration. Uh, for 16th, that is on Tuesday, as a casita. Mm. And uh, why we mentioned 16th is that uh, from 8th, even before 8th, on a daily basis, we are having engagements and dialogue. Our approach is different. You dialogue first, 
so the demonstration comes as you know when everything has actually failed as the last result as the last result mm. and as i speak uh, i wouldn't want to preempt uh but when you look at uh, these days uh, stakeholders that we are engaging including political figures in in, in security organs who are now backing us up and they're like hey Abe, why are you doing this upon explaining and you're like okay why don't we take this route and we're like but no that's the route that we want di dialoguing but we are not getting results that we we actually anticipate mm. so we still believe uh, that from now up to up to then tuesday we hope to have some positivity that uh, out of the four you know uh, uh, reasons why these uh, traders are not satisfied mm. even if we achieve three of them what 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 are the most four pressing concerns so the most let's get into it the most four pressing concerns the first one of course it's about efris electronic uh, physical uh, invoicing and receipting solution and uh, i mean if, if anyone asked uh, wh what's wrong with it uh, the first one is uh, the the way it is implemented you know the, the enforcement uh, the penalties uh, so these are things that are really hurting and two we have the, this uh, import duty especially on textiles and garments of uh, 3.0 and 3.5 uh, dollar per kilo respectively on, on uh, textile fabrics and garments and uh, why that is a very big issue is that uh, we, we, we every other day we are counting uh, many containers that are not cleared stranded at URA I, I mean someone's capture is seated because he cannot clear what do you expect right from the same band you know and, and now uh you've been clearing you, you expected to pay 120 million they're asking you for uh 500 or 450 million which you really can't so th that's another one uh the third one is on the trade uh, uh trade order violation you've had people talk of these uh foreigners who come as an as investors and then uh, end up doing you know these petty businesses that uh, our, our locals actually engaged in uh so uh, those are really uh the pertinent ones uh of course on top of that i i i i've always mentioned this that uh, those are just uh factors that are used to spark off the anger the poverty that people are going through that quite a lot a lot of uh, financial stress you know and burdens that people are having but even when uh, we talk of the of the taxes themselves I mean, uh, currently, uh, ri right now, I've, we, we receive multiple uh, complaints, multiple petitions from our traders. For example, on audits, I mean, th these URA audits that are going on, we, we are not saying we don't want our people to be compliant. But currently, when you come to my business and you do a five-year audit, and uh, for example, uh, 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 a bottle or, or, a, uh, or a pack of, of, of cooking oil that uh, was being sold at 5,000, uh, maybe 500 mils uh, five years ago, today it is 15,000. Now, when you're doing that back, backward audit, today you look at the current price as 15,000, and when you're auditing a, a, a five-year uh, five document, you, you subject it to the current price. What is it uh, uh, resulting to? endless penalties definitely you will find them okay you know uh, unnecessarily interests okay uh, and so these tax defaults are actually caused by a number of those factors and so people are having a lot of pain canally uh for all the engagements that you've had abel mm. especially as traders mm. why do you think in your own opinion government has remained reluctant in responding to all these concerns because you say you've even reached a compromise you say even if it is just three out of four exactly exactly why have all these engagements that turned out fruitless yeah uh, that's not something I, I really may not answer because i i'm not on the side of government i do not know why and and these are these are open these are open factors that are vivid that are practical 
I'm glad that even most of those government uh, g government officials, they are they are partly either in the private sector or they have affili affiliates in the private sector, so they are known. Mm. So at the end of that day, uh, it's the same question we are asking ourselves. I mean, the country that that the economy is uh, slowly by slowly sinking down. Because we, as the major contributors, we I cannot be dissatisfied with one, two, three, four, and and not only two can can even be be listened to and hundred and N not even one, not even one, mm. yeah, not even one. So it is the same question we are actually asking, and uh, I think the end result we we are meant to be convinced that uh, we only need a political solution. That's now how we are being convinced. And you know the reason? When you look at, at the stakeholders that we have engaged on the technical side, all the technical prayers from the policy makers to the policy implementers, you know, to everyone, and they are saying, okay, you hold on, let's do this, let's review this, uh, bring this evidence, you bring, let's get this information. And at the end of the day, they will tell you, no. Uh, cabinet looked into it. Okay, who is the head of cabinet? His Excellency. Okay, we hear there is a rumor that uh, the meeting was scheduled for this Friday, but it did not happen because the president will be in Mbara. Was that true or not? Let's talk about that after this short commercial break. Big Talk, hosted by Kanari Mugume on 106.1 Next Radio. Festive and back to Oh my god! This festive and back to school season, gift your child a mattress from Comform for a good night's sleep. These mattresses come in diverse color and sizes. Enhance your bedroom with grass textile products like bed sheets, bed covers, pillowcases, and more. Our products are made of smart technology with durable and reliable raw materials. Find our products in all outlets near you. Contact us or visit our factory at Imbari and Mbarara Mukono. Comfort mattress, the sleep experts. I'm gonna study hard so that I can win myself a Comfort mattress next. No matter what your plans for the day are, we're here to help you get through with Next Radio. Big Talk, hosted by Kanari Mugume on 106.1 Next Radio. 106.1 Next Radio, this is the Big Talk and uh, we are shining a spotlight on uh, the uh, sort of uncomfort that is going on inside the traders. They say they have four reasons that the state needs to respond to. The state responded with military police when they decided to strike and show uh, that they were protesting against these number of issues. In the studio tonight, I have uh, the man who represents the traders at uh, the level of uh, Kasita, Uganda, Abel Mwesija, who is the CEO of the group. Uh, good to have you on the show and uh, thanks for always making time. So you say that uh, this number of issues for them need to be responded to, but with a political response. What does that mean? Talk to us about the rumored meeting between the traders and the president. Finally, uh, and, and uh, to you and, and the listeners, I think now I have, uh, I have a position to mention that uh, that planned meeting was not known to us as, as Kasita Uganda, mm. and indeed it was not there. Where did it come from? Where did the rumor come from? I, I, the head of, um, and you can tell us now the difference between Kasita Uganda and the Uganda Traders Association. And I know at some point you even disagreed um, with uh, the strike that did happen on Monday. Uh, the, 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 the chairman of the Uganda Traders Association did confirm live on television that this meeting was happening on Friday. And uh, it also, this rumor moved even all the way up to parliament as they were debating this, this issue. So what is going on? Uh, thanks, Kanali. Uh, I, I think... I would want to first bring uh, a distinction between Casita and uh, and and Futa or some uh, any other organization. In the first case, we are in a liberal economy, and uh, how we operate is uh, even tomorrow. Currently, you're you're free to wake up, have your members, uh, have them legally registered, and and you're recognized. I mean, I, I think it's the, it's the reason why even today, politically, we don't only have NRM, the ruling party, we have, we have hundreds of, of, of parties in there. 
But what I am meant to understand is that uh, every entity has got its own ideologies. Okay? Now, when it comes to Kasita, Uganda, uh, with our huge membership and uh, 20 years plus in the, in, the, in the field, we definitely have a distinction. Now, yes, he was on TV. I, I, I equally watched that. Um, but then, I, I'm just here on behalf of Kasita, and I would want to tell you that uh, whatever I mentioned here, I have the, it's, the, it's the position of the association. So I may not tell uh, the basis for, for his you know, pronouncement. But what I can who, tell... Who do you represent as Casita? Of course, we represent uh, 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 not only the traders, by the way, because uh, the distinction that we have is that Casita is multisectoral. Mm. That in our membership, we have uh, uh, a, wide, uh, 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 a wider membership than the other associations. We have manufacturers in there, we have traders, we have you know, importers, we have uh, professional bodies. You understand? So that's why we are very careful. And, and who does Uganda Traders Association represent? I, I do not understand their membership. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I really would, wouldn't want to make such a mistake. Mm. Uh, rather, I, I have to, to mention what I am aware of. At least I know uh, what Kasita Uganda does, what he stands for, whom he represents, who, and all that. And that's why I can't categorically, you know, defend or justify the statements that they made. But what I'm sure of, we had a meeting yesterday, Kanali, with uh, uh, um, Ambassador Katunji and uh, Honorable Minister of Kampara and, and some other leaders. So we, me we met as, 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 as stakeholders, including uh, of our brothers from Futa, the ones that you're mentioning, mm. and we, we are trying to harmonize. So it's the same, the same question that came out because even the president himself asked. So uh, uh, in the monitor, I think that is yesterday's monitor, not only parliament. So it, it really went viral, but the president was not aware. So they asked, uh, who made this appointment? And I even those that made the pronunciation could not even justify. So it's the reason why I have to distance. On the, on the 7th of, uh, of March, when Kasita Uganda, uh, <laughs> led by chairman, uh, <laughs> Dr. Thaddeus Musoke, they met the president himself, who promised to meet the, the traders in this month of April, but did not specify the date. That's why I'm telling you that for us, we have firm that, yes, any time we're meeting the president, because this, this was one-on-one -on -one and it was on record. Yeah, but also when he said he's going to meet the traders, he's not going to meet every trader, meaning he's going to meet the leadership of the traders. No, no, no. So was, was, no, no. was that for Futa? Was that for Casita? No, 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 no. Can I, what, what, we, uh, what we sought for or what we requested the president was not only to meet the leaders. Because the, the, the trading uh, society, the trading membership is so uh, desirous of meeting uh, His Excellency. When, when you listen to some of the voices, they will tell you, but Abel, when these uh, uh, musicians want to meet him, they, they usually go when uh, whoever those are. Why is it that for us he can't meet us? And that's why our proposal was to have this uh, mass uh, meeting or wider meeting in Kololo where we would mobilize, you know, uh, different sectors, you know, different regions. You know, he meets them as, 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 as normal citizens, you understand? Even when he meets them, it will not be them talking, it will be their leadership. Of course. It will I, be. I, I think that uh, there is need for the two associations to, uh, I, I think, sit and talk and decide who represents what. Because, no, no, don't, don't, don't be because misled. the contradiction, no, the no, contradiction no, no. begins in your leadership as traders. Let me, let me, let me clarify this. Mm. You see, when we talk of Kasita, I will categorically tell you that even be, be beyond Kasita and Futa, we have over 20 other associations. Utea, Kafu, name them. But then what happens? If I have a meeting as Kasita Uganda, I have associate members and I have allies those that may not subscribe directly to Kasita, who are independent, but with a common ideology. So here we are not looking at two entities. No, we are looking at the common goal. And, and, and that's why, uh, but even Futa, we, 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 we sit and, 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 you know, brainstorm, harmonize here and there. But these issues of, you know, personalities, you know, characters, I mean, they, they, they can't hide. So our common goal is to... To, to, to achieve a sustainable, you know, uh, uh, business, uh, business environment uh, that is fair to, to our members, you know, uh, and, and that's what we are all pushing for. 
Otherwise, we would have hit the streets like long ago, but it doesn't really work. Mm. And that's why we're even coming on board, not only with lamentations, no, but with recommendations and suggestions, Kanadi. Okay. Let's go to what you talked about earlier, that uh, the, you, the, the, the responses that you need should be political. Why? Shouldn't you be looking at some of uh, perhaps amendments that need to be done if it concerns the law? Shouldn't you be looking at um, compromises? Why a political response? Kanali, uh, I, I think I just put this clear on the record. I didn't say it should be political, but we are now being convinced that uh, it has to be a political solution. And the reason is, so if, uh, if we've been to parliament, We've been to these ministries, including Ministry of uh, Finance, who are the policymakers at all levels. And this was evidenced by, by the meeting that uh, we had with traders and, and the PSST and, and his team, including the CG, on the 8th. It was a Women's Day. I think that is evidence enough to show you that, yes, we are really having engagements at all levels. So if you meet a policymaker and he really understands you, and uh, at the end of the day tells you, okay, this is going to be tabled in, in cabinet, comes back and even, uh, you know, affirms, even, even the other, the, the rest of the uh, stakeholders, tells you, okay, it has been actually discussed in cabinet, understood, but we are waiting for the president's, uh, uh, for the president to assent or, you know, uh, acknowledge and you, you understand. What does that mean? And that's why, as we speak, everyone is saying it is the president now to, to dissolve this. But if it was the president to dissolve this, how would he? Because I look at IFRIS, URA wants money, mm -hmm. and, so, and so does government. And one way of widening the tax base is to make sure it reaches out, for example, mm. um, a big chunk of the people who are in the informal sector. When I look at the import duty, this is an amendment that needs to be done by parliament. When I look at uh, the trade order violation, maybe this could be handled politically, plus the audits by URA, they are necessary um, audits by your so i think that this has everything to do with other institutions of government as opposed to the executive especially by the president in those institutions of government are, are, are there any you think i have not mentioned here as having uh, engaged i think we've engaged all of them those that we think are really pertinent to these issues right so now the question between me and you and what is lingering on the in, um, uh, minds of the rest of the public is so what is it that you are is not saying? We've uh, uh, countless times met with the CG and his team. He has listened, uh, gotten the recommendations, so he, he actually knows. I, Minister of Finance and all that. But what, why are we linking this to the uh, political solution, especially looking at the, the political head? For example, on the, okay, l let's leave around the IFRIS, because IFRIS, that is something to be managed by URA. Uh, it is administrative in nature, even when it has uh, a, a policy element but uh and, and 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 for your information there's no trader who is saying no we do not want this but rather we 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 are recommending in the uh in the adjustments on on, on you know its implementation and you know and all that so th this is something that can be handled by finance and, and URA. but now when you look at uh the the, the kilograms for example why we are linking it politically you know the president uh, in most cases, he's misguided. Uh, we people on the ground, sometimes we feel he doesn't get the actual information. Now, when you talk of the trade order violation, which um, I'm glad you're, 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 you're consenting that, yes, it has the, the political element. It is the same with this policy. Because this policy was put in place purportedly to, pr uh, to protect local investors. Who are these local investors? The president will tell you, I get out of Uganda, look for markets, bring my investors here, in quotes, my investors. So now when you come out and you're like, no, this uh, uh, import duty of uh, US dollar per kilo, it, it is detrimental. Now for him, he thinks, we, we Kasita is saying, no, you remove this so that we can have more imports. That's why he links it. And that's why everyone is laboring to explain to his excellence, the president, that look, we are not promoting and we are not suffocating the, the, the local manufacturers. You, you understand? That's, why, that's where the political aspect comes in. Now, when you talk of trade, uh, trade uh, order violation, you have not heard us you know, complain against any, 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 any uh, indigenous investor, even if he's hawking or what, because, I mean, we, we are the same, okay? 
But when we talk of this, you will in most cases here, most of my membership talk of Chinese. Now, and you know why when, when we talk of Chinese, what gets to the president's mind, you're fighting Chinese. And now most of the people who are so close to his excellence, now that's the perception they feed him. That all oh, these guys are, are fighting your investors. You, you understand? That's why we are labeling to make him understand that, look, we are not fighting you. We are actually supporting them. So, so you want the president to hear this from the horse's mouth. Exactly. That's why you are opting for a meeting with the president. So it should happen. And you're going to tell him to his face that he's being misled. He has wrong facts on paper. Th that is it. That is it. Because, Colonel, you see what I'm discussing with you. I think I'm one of those people that have faced him one-on-one. -on -one. Mm. He actually, we as leaders. But now, at the end of the day, that's why I was saying, no, let's, let's change the approach now. Can he hear it from his own bazukuru? The ones that he has actually mentored from university. They are now in entrepreneurs. They are aspiring, you know, big investors. Ca can, they, can they share with him the pride that they are having, you know? And in, in a peaceful way and in a developmental, you know, uh, uh, approach. So that's the only reason. Because now most of these other stakeholders, they will tell you, oh, no, 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 but the president says, the president says. And so, so we are like, okay, so if everyone is saying the president has said this, or the pre president thinks this, mm. let's have audience with him. So you're saying that it is very possible that all these institutions that do not have um, solutions to your queries, that they could be hiding behind the name of the president. Because that's what you literally say. The president has said this, the president has said that. I do not know how you're going to perceive it, but that's, <laughs> that's how it looks. Because, I mean, we, we know we have competent uh, 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 officers in these offices. You know, by the time you're appointed to, 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 to offer a service, then you're capable of, you know, you know what to do. So if you're, you're, you're a policy analyst, and uh, a policy implementer comes and tell you, and unfortunately, now such a policy of like uh, uh, the, the US dollar per kilo, even the area themselves, they are against it. And they are policy implementers. They have made several petitions to their master's finance. I have evidence to that. Why? Because they have felt the impact. But no finance will tell you, no, I cannot change this. We first have to get the president's directive. The president has got to first understand why. You, you get the point. So when he comes out and he, he asks you, Kanali, uh, how is Kenya treating this? Uh, Kenya is 25% uh, because it is on a transaction value. Uh, how is Rwanda? This? Now, the president doesn't know that we are actually losing our market to the, to the, region, uh, the regional prayers. He doesn't know. I, I hope you understand. Uh, th th these people are keeping him in a cocoon. You know, the picture of, ah, we have our investors who are producing it, but what are they producing? When, when my team, my seniors met him, he made, uh, he made a confession that uh, these manufacturers that they are protecting, they promised him that within one year, they will have established themselves to the extent that they will be able to support, you know, the, the, the outgrowers of cotton and, mm. and, and everything. Mm. Now, it is more than one year. The capacity is still low. The quality is compromised. And the president knows. Abel, do you think that there's a problem with um, possibly governing at large? Because if you look at the people who are um, really passionate about putting in the work and, and the passion, for example, to work on certain things, let's say what? Roads in Kampala that also do play a very big role in facilitation of trade. You find that they are complaining of the same thing, that mm -hmm. the president doesn't see the point or maybe he's being misled, he's being given wrong intelligence. But he uses the same roads every day from Nakasero uh, to Entebbe on a daily. Uh, and, and I can speak of institutions, um, maybe 20 of them, who I find that they complain and they think that the president can offer them a solution. Here is Kasita uh, saying, that, do you think that there's a problem of leadership at large? Or there's a disconnect between leadership and, and the people who um, actually are involved, who are on ground? I think, Kanali, you, you're just praying within an answer. I, in Luganda, we have a saying, I must own, that uh, you know what it means? Uh, there's no way 10 people can all be against one. Mm. Most likely, there is a very common factor that is big, that is actually uniting them.
So if, if Casita or traders are realizing that, yes, without the president's intervention, uh, our cries are not going to, to be wiped away. Okay, so g get to infrastructure. What is that he doesn't see? When, even when it comes to, to these budget allocations, I've, I've, I've seen those uh, practitioners cry and trying to justify why they need more budgets than the other ones. But the reasons they give are vivid. Why, why should we first demonstrate of the potholes in Kampala when uh, KCCA is actually there and, and budgets are there up to the extent of the president himself uh, 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 summoning or, or ordering for a supplementary specifically to, to, to for infrastructure development in, in the city? And, and when he intervenes, that's when you know, things are done. So that, that's why I'm affirming to you that currently it's very clear that for one reason or the other, only political solutions are, are running this country. Let's take a break. When we return, let's look into what you as traders want the president. For example, do about concerns like IFRIS or even the import duty on textile and garments. All that after this short commercial break. Big Talk, hosted, Big talk, hosted by Tanare Mugume. On 106.1 Next. Big Talk, hosted by Tanare Big Talk, hosted by Tanare Mugume. On 106. Point this is the last segment of uh, the Big Talk. We're looking into um, an emerging issue, which is uh, the discomfort that the traders are feeling downtown and uh, what needs to be done to resolve that. Uh, earlier in the week on Monday, they did uh, stage a strike, decided to close shops. Downtown was um, really full of uh, military police, and that's how the state decided to respond. They say that if the president does meet them, perhaps would resolve this once and for all but what does the president have to do and uh, what is uh, the uh, sort of suggestions to resolve these uh, matters top on agenda is uganda revenue authorities if system they say that there's a problem with implementation enforcement and the penalties well what can what can the president do about all this there's also a problem around import duty on textile and garments there's a trade order violation that the president uh, needs to hear about but most importantly the unnecessary audits by the Uganda Revenue Authority. In the studio tonight, I'm joined by Abel Mwesje, who is the CEO of the, the Kampala uh, Capital City Traders Association. Uganda does represent not just traders, manufacturers, importers, exporters, and everyone involved in trade, not just in Kampala, but the whole country. Abel, what do you want the president to do? Okay, m maybe w what is it that we would want to be done? Because uh, at the moment we are running to him, uh, we hope he doesn't again say, ah, Honorable uh, Kasaija, come, or this or that. Mm. Because you've been there. And because not, we've been and there. And issues have remained yes, and unresolved. Uh, okay, I think uh, the, the first thing, we would want uh, the import duty of uh, 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 the USD in, uh, per kilograms the $3.5 and uh, $3.0 for textiles, would want it to be uh, scrapped off and we get back to the transaction value of, uh, actually now the transaction value is 35%, even when it is still higher, yeah? So uh, when you look at uh, Kenya, uh, who have the, the cost to advantage, they are on 25%. If, if we could get back to 25%, uh, I think it could uh, do it uh, much better it could reduce on the smuggling that we are we are witnessing at the borders because the sources of these uh, products are actually the same both kenyans and ugandans i mean they get to the same market in uh, in on the on the global scene china and, and everywhere that's one two uh on ifris uh because of the cost of the, the cost of uh, of compliance that is imposed on small businesses being high in terms of uh, you know internet uh because it is technology based uh the turnaround time to issue receipts uh, the way it doesn't fit within uh, you know these smes operations uh then uh, the unnecessary and uh, high penalties that our people are, you know are, are receiving which actually so much discouraging the adoption of uh, uh embracement of this technology we would want all those to be halted uh, we let every first get back to this why, why would they be halted see that's a problem why would they be halted so, uh, first of all the concerns for example from uh, uh, people who uh, monthly um, earners of a salary they say 
the burden is now on them. They already pay pay ye. On top of that, when they deposit the banks and they want to withdraw it, they are charged um, 0.5 percent. On top of that, when they want to uh, withdraw it using mobile money, they are charged an extra 0.5 percent. Um, on top of 2,500 shillings charged as uh, bank charges, on top of 15 percent charged on that 2,500 <laughs> shillings. So, mm. they say that you know the traders who are involved in day-to-day -day trade who get their profit on a daily they are not getting tax from them that the revenue is concentrated in a very small percentage group of people why should it why should all this be suspended okay i'm, I'm glad we are using the word suspension mm. now of the uh tax categories that we have mentioned if i can uh, use an, an example of you canally is there any of them that is levied on you and you don't understand it I guess no. Mm. If it is pairs you and you clearly understand yes. its generation, its implementation and everything. Mm. Now, it's the same reason we are saying. If a trader comes and tells you, hey, look, with this technology, it hasn't matched well with the turnaround time of, of our businesses. By the time I issued a receipt, Canada has already gone. Now, this trade but, is... But gone where? If all traders embrace the IFRI system, it means that the um customer client will have no option other than staying and know that this is the new normal but see this system is not for all traders that's why you're going wrong only those that qualify exactly for vat exactly but even those that do qualify we, we are still having contention mm. where we have uh, uh, traders that have been onboarded on, uh, on 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 vat either falsely Oh, yes, they were rightly onboarded, but right now they no longer qualify, but they still appear on the URA register, on the VAT register, okay? And, 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 and quite a lot. So this is why we are saying, why we are talking of halting, can you first study, analyze, even in its implementation, can you first let this uh, concept sink into the minds of these people? Can we first... Uh, concentrate on sensitization. I mean, this is something that came uh, uh, shortly before COVID. COVID came in two years. Ideally, people that uh, were on it are those that were forcefully uh, uh, onboarded on because they were on VAT. So ideally, we are saying it hasn't sunk into the minds of these people. If you look at the adjustments that you are making right now, because of the recommendations that we are making, this is something that it would have done before this. So why we are talking of halting we are not saying we do not want. I think that is that is a different language, right? Can we hold, study, uh, sensitize more the more? Uh, we look at the compatibility. Now, so if uh, now when we talk of now th th these costs, uh, is your aim to, to generate a revenue from the the, the penalties because uh, Canada is not aware of what he should be doing? Oh, so that's why we are saying we can buy time, maybe one year or two years. Uh, and and as as we engage the rest of the people meanwhile it becomes gradual whoever is on just the way i've told you i mean your 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 pay qualified that's why you're not complaining about it so from the vat from these factories from from these manufacturers so can, can we first make sure that even these these traders are aware of what system, this system requires what is that you should be able to do so gradually as we onboard them but by the time you bring you know this this huge force military force then it has an implication that there's a problem in its implementation how how did the traders actually um uh respond uh, to the deployment of military police downtown of course, the response was not good. Uh, there were a lot of uh, outcries, but I'm glad that uh, as we speak, I, I think I don't need to be one-sided. URA has responded. I saw them trying to engage the traders through megaphones. Uh, not, on, not only engaging, but even uh, with the enforcement that, uh, that at first uh, was deployed. I think it has now slowed down. And this is why we are saying what they are trying to do, what the adjustment they are, they are, they are making, it's what, was, it, it, it's what was supposed to be done, you know, before. But now you've destroyed the mindset of these people, okay? The, your, your target audience. You're bringing a new product. Uh, you clearly know uh, its embracement depends on the goodwill that you actually build, the relationship you build with these people. But now the relationship cannot build with guns. That's a war. Mm. So if it becomes a war, then they will retaliate. And that's why URA is slowly by slowly adjusting. And that's why we are talking of halting.
until we achieve hold 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 because once you once you hold uh, the traders will not be able to put a stipulated time frame um that both um sides will follow it becomes problematic when you hold with no time frame hold until this is resolved but there's no time frame to it no but the time frame can can actually be agreed upon that the, the parties i mean when we engage with the ura even right now we are we are we are planning for another bigger engagement on the same so it is it is, it is clear for us to say okay give me two years and within two years we 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 keep monitoring the adoption rate it is very clear so by by the end of two years you should be able to come and say this is what we agreed the two years are done everyone is on the register those do, who do qualify do you understand the impact of the economy when you choose to strike i don't like know the one you're planning for uh, on the 16th of april mm -hmm. do, do you do you sit back and reflect on uh, the impact of that strike on the economy at large if and how much revenue is being lost if, if you weren't reflecting canally would have done this long time ago but because we we, we understand even amidst the, the the demonstration you know fears that's why up to now even up to by monday or any other day, that's why we are still having engagement because because we know so the strike is 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 the very 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 last option that anyone can actually have because we know its effect yeah we okay. know its effect let me use uh, this last minute to ask this question and uh, perhaps you couple your response with what you wanted to add on what happens if this remains unresolved because this has been on for years now since COVID. what happens if you secure a meeting with the president or if you don't but everything remains unresolved what happens if the strike on the 16th of april achieves nothing uh thanks canally what's in plan okay uh you need a plan but before the plan mm. still on the recommendations yep we when you look at uh, our vat uh, threshold 150 million as annual turnover uh, this is a great mistake that we need to improve now this threshold should be raised to at least minimum 500 million you know why by the time this threshold was set yeah I think over time a lot has changed what was I mean the, the, the value the currency value by then it cannot be the currency value today well, uh, the, the, the hundred million that you had uh, 10 minimum 10 years ago it's not the same value that you hold today so you 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 having uh, a turnover of 150 million surely it's a revision that we need and this is where all problems are coming from that currently has uh, uh, has juggled here and there and uh, Yore has realized that yes he has made uh, sales of 150 million he doesn't know how through what he doesn't know the sources of the, you know this captain you know it should really be revised then uh, on side of URA a we also we are pushing for standardization of these values I mean if I'm to go to Kenya uh, I'm on in bus for example these guys who bring by bus can I get to Kenya when when I know that this shot its value in the URA database is maybe two dollar. So if I know it is two dollar, by the time I reach Kenya and I realize no, when I come back and I pay the taxes, I, I, I won't break even, then I will leave. But then you get to Kenya, you get to China, you, you're not certain of the value that you will actually uh, you know, get upon your clearance. Mm. You reach here, the database you know, changes every other three months. So uh, we, we are pushing for standardization of the very uh these are uh, very uh, variation guidelines and then uh for the trade variation i think that 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 one we don't need to to to, to discuss if you come as an investor you have an investment license stick to what the, the license tells you let's give a chance to other prayers that, that that's what we think and that's what should be done what what <laughs> what is currently on ground what are the foreign investors doing they come under what licenses and then they end up in what of course they, they come as uh, they come as uh, uh, as investors uh, at the end of the day he opens up a shop in chikubo in masaka as if that is not enough he gets this stock puts on a van pick up starts hawking and and he's an investor for god's sake so you come as canally get to nabugabo you, you buy from him uh, uh, uh maybe 10 cartons on reaching massacre he's the same he's the same investor same same business player who is actually hawking same products and on if it is if he has given you on factory price that means even when he's uh, he's hawking it's still the same price so what is that you're going to do why is that your problem 
how why is it a problem in the first case why why are we calling it a violation a violation itself is a problem mm. because you're getting uh, against the odds that's one two it is creating an unnecessary competition you know the price cuts and all that and three uh i think it is widening now the relationship in the in in, in the business so you cannot uh, you cannot tell where a manufacturer is where a retailer is where a wholesaler is what then happens we, we we've lost touch with our end users i mean currently there's no way you're going to come to me i tell you this shirt is fifty thousand because i've added a three thousand profit margin and you clearly know that when you get to Uber, you'll get it at 47 will you ever come back to me mm. so which business is that and in turn how are you going to convince Uber? who is uh, uh, facing this price undercutting, you know, at the end of the day, the business is started and you're telling him, Abel, can you kindly uh, uh, have your capital invested? Can you upgrade to manufacturing when we, we are seeing what our counterparts are doing? So it's really wrong. And that's why we are against it. So well, on Abel, the, your parting shot uh, looks like we are out of time. Um, so uh, on, on, on what will happen, I, I don't think I'm able to answer that because I will also ask you, when you say if it doesn't happen so what happens if it happens so we have well, to well i expect there. i expect you to say perhaps we continue pushing but to what extent no no we we, we, we are pushing up to when we get the success which we believe we will get mm. yes yes abel many thanks for honoring our invitation to appear here on the big talk thanks currently big talk returns tomorrow seven to eight for now you can catch me on the news at 9 p.m on NBS Television, as I bring you the latest from the day. My name is Kanore Mgume. I've been here with the CEO of Kasita, Uganda, Abel Mwesje. Good evening. Time check. It's 8 p.m. Brought to you by Pepsodent. Every smile matters. Big Talk, hosted by Kanore Mugume. On 106.1 Next Radio.